This is Mike Callahan, Dr. FileFinder, with your Butterscotch.com tutorial on how to change the appearance of windows using the built-in appearance functions. So, we'll just get started and right-click on the desktop, select Properties. Now when the dialog opens up, I'll bring it down here where you can see it. See there are a number of tabs, we want to click the Appearance tab. Now you can also change the appearance of windows using themes, but we'll cover that in a future demo. So here's the default layout of Windows XP, the default style. Now you get three basic styles, the Media Center style, the Windows Classic, and the Windows XP. With the Windows XP style you only get three color choices. An olive green, which is really kind of yucky in my opinion, and here it is. And you see that the things that you select are previewed here so you get an idea of whether you're going to like it or not. You also get a silver. I'm going to go back to the blue. Another thing you can do under the Windows XP style is change the font size. So if you have trouble seeing on a screen, you can make large fonts or even extra large fonts to make it easier on your eyes. Now, if you're really into colors, you might want to try going with the Windows Classic style. Because as you can see here, you get a large variety of colors to pick from. There's maple. Here's plum. Here's slate. I kind of like slate. Another thing you can do is under effects, there are different graphics effects that you can pick from, like using large icons or showing shadows under menus. Those are personal preferences, and you can pick the ones you want or unselect the ones you don't want. And when you're finished, click OK. Under advanced, you can essentially alter all of these different aspects of Windows. So you can change caption buttons, application backgrounds, message box, and you can change the size, you can change the color, you can make it bold or italic. So you can go through here and customize all of these different functions. When you're done, just click apply. Windows comes up and makes changes, tells you to please wait. I don't know that we ended up changing that many things ultimately, and then we just click OK, and that's all there is to it. 